So I'm in Outlook right now, and what I'm going to do first is um, just kind of get an overview of how I've got my own Outlook set up. So I, of course I have a mailbox and an inbox. Now within my inbox I have a series of subfolders and I've got a staff folder just for my department here and I've got a subfolder for my courses and I have subfolders for all of my classes and I try to route student emails into the appropriate class so I can keep, kind of keep track of that. So I do have several folders that get email on a daily basis and can build up pretty quickly. Now first I want to get an overall picture of my mailbox size. So I'm going to go to Tools, Mailbox Cleanup, and View Mailbox Size. Now right now the total size of my mailbox including subfolders is 210,636 kilobytes. That's 210 megabytes and I am currently over the 200 megabyte hard limit for faculty mailboxes. So I want to see if I can reduce this number. Now there's several ways to do it, but no matter what, it is going to take a little bit of thought and some regular maintenance. Just like maintaining anything, you're going to have to check on it on a regular basis. So I see my email is 210 gigabytes, I'm sorry, 210 megabytes in size. And I can also use this detailed list to find out where my major size culprits are. My, uh, my inbox here is one megabyte itself. My total size for my inbox though is 128 megabytes, which makes sense. All of the folders that I have are subfolders of my inbox. So that number there is, is large, but it doesn't tell me specifically where my problem is. So I'm looking at the total sizes, and unfortunately I can't sort these by size, but I can see here's one of my biggest ones right here. My COCC staff folder is 65,615 kilobytes. It's 65 megabytes in and of itself. So that's a pretty big folder right there. So I'm going to close this and close this. Now something I've already taken, I've already done was create an automatic archiving procedure for my COCC staff folder. So if I right click on my COCC staff folder and go to um, properties and then to the auto archive tab, I can see that I've done something here. I am archiving this folder using the following settings. I am cleaning out items older than four months. So basically whenever I auto archive my COCC staff folder, items that are more than four months old will get moved. In my case, I've chosen to move these items to a special file on my local computer. So these aren't stored on the school network computer. They're stored on my local hard drive where I could back them up if necessary or trust that I wouldn't need anything that long to be stored. So I've indicated that I want these particular full, uh, uh, emails to be archived in a staff archive PST file. Now if I wanted to change that I could simply browse and I could choose a different location. I have several PST files in here so I'm archiving several individual folders. Now a PST file can be easily opened up by Outlook so even if I was kind of concerned, you know, I'm saving these on my local computer, I could burn these to CD so I could check those out or I could save them to some other place that I back up on a more regular basis. But I feel okay with the procedure I've set for myself. But if I go to my COCC staff folder, and they're already sorting by received, today that I'm, I'm recording this on Friday, June 1st, if I scroll all the way down, I see that I have some emails from January and February. So I haven't clicked my auto archive button lately. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go to Tools, mailbox cleanup and there's an auto archive button. So if I click this my auto archive settings should take effect. Down here in my status bar I can see that my auto archiving is occurring right now. It may take several minutes depending on how much is being archived. My auto archiving looks like it's complete so out of curiosity I'm gonna to go to tools mailbox cleanup and view mailbox size. Ah total size including subfolders. If you remember my 
total size, including subfolders, was 210 megabytes. I'm now down to just about 203 megabytes. So my auto archiving didn't help me too much, which apparently means that some of the older emails that I had weren't taking up a lot of space. Now, I kind of figured this was going to happen. I'm going to close this for a moment. Now, in anticipation of making this video, I sent myself some emails with larger attachments, searching. And I'm going to go to my COCC staff folder. And I'm going to click on my size button to sort by size. And here are all of these big files. Okay, so I see I have all these files. So I can click on one, do a shift click, so I can select a group of files that have these large uh, attachments. And I'll simply right click and delete. So those large files have just been deleted. Now I also had some problems with my sent mail folder too. Here's my sent items folder and files or emails that you send with large file attachments stay in your sent items folder. So for a lot of people, your sent items folder could be the, the biggest culprit that you have if you send a lot of big files. So if I sort these by size, there's the uh, big ones that I've sent today, but I have some older emails. Here's some that I sent in mid-May that are more than half of a megabyte each. Okay. So there's a number of files on here that are sent that have a significant file size. So even on my sent items folder, I can select and delete these. So I've deleted a bunch of files. Now they're not completely gone. I have a deleted items folder which now has all of these files. So just because you've taken them out of one of your inbox folders, they're still in your deleted items folder. Now something I have done is I've rigged my Outlook settings so that my deleted items folder gets deleted whenever I exit Outlook. And I've been perfectly happy with that setting. Tools, Options, the Other tab, here we go. Empty the deleted items folder upon exiting. So by checking that off, your deleted items folder will be cleared out. So I'll go ahead and cancel that since I've already got this setting. I'm going to close Outlook. Are you sure you want to permanently delete all the items in the subfolders in the deleted items folder? Yes. Okay, that's closed. I'm going to relaunch Outlook. I see that my deleted items folder over here is now empty. And I'm going to go to Tools, Mailbox Cleanup, View Mailbox Size. Now the total size, including subfolders, is 82,157 kilobytes, which is 82 megabytes. Since the soft limit is 175 megabytes, I've got a ways to go before I get up to that soft limit. Unless, of course, I start sending or receiving emails with large file attachments.